Hey guys, in today's video, we're going to be talking about the upcoming release from Dr. Johns, and that is Black River. Stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, John, and I am back from a wonderful vacation uh, with my family to Disneyland. We spent about a week out in Anaheim, California. We we're able to visit uh, some old family friends as well. And I also got to meet up with Gerard, who uh, does the podcast with me, Ladder Talk, and just had a great time, ate some great food, rode some great rides. I mean, I am really a kid at heart. And uh, given that Disney owns, you know, Marvel and Star Wars and has a great, you know, catalog, well, Pixar too. Uh, either way, has all these uh, characters, intellectual properties, that I that just makes me happy it was a really wonderful time a time to more or less unplug and feel pretty refreshed I, I will say um, it's taken a little bit of time to kind of build up momentum uh, to be recording again I think I just made a stuck in vacation mode jet lag you know, a little bit a little bit everything but Man, I have an exciting shave for you guys today. We're gonna to be talking about an upcoming release from Dr. Johns, and this one is called Black River. And we have the trifecta for you. So uh, first off, here's the soap. Uh, this is a vegan soap. It is indeed four ounces uh, in this tin. Dr. Johns has used tins uh, for as long as I've known them. And we got that. We also have the matching aftershave splash. Right here and I did say trifecta so uh, I don't do this a lot in the in the YouTube videos but you'll see me apply the fragrance as well now I'll try to do that more actually uh, I was curious uh, let me know in the comments below if you want to see some more fragrance reviews whether that is in the shaving world or otherwise let me know I know a few of you have mentioned interest in that and it's not like I'm picking up new frags all the time, but it's something I enjoy. Okay, so let's get back to Black River. And before we go further on, a quick note of disclosure is that the trifecta was sent to me as a gift from Dr. Johns. Uh, as always, you'll get a honest opinion from me on the scent, on performance. Now that that's out of the way, let's talk about the label for Black River. That really reminds me of Guns N' Roses. <laughs> it's a great label and um, yeah it's it's eye-catching I think given the little bit of kind of um, shininess foil like uh, appearance on the label it really really pops and as far as the scent itself it's described as a leathery smoky fougere so let's open the tub up oh and let me show you the bottom label as always has the ingredients take a look at the fresh pour Again, this is a vegan soap. And then the scent off the tub, unlathered. It is, it is fairly complex. I think even just given, you know, a sniff off the tub, I get a little bit of powderiness. Uh, I don't get it out and out green fougere, but it's, it's floral, it's earthy. And there's definitely that smoke component is there as well. Yeah, it's a, it's a it's on the darker side uh, of scents go, so kind of good for cool weather or just or I think evening cooler evening, uh, darker and darker. I, a lot of times I use that word because I know a lot of people use it differently. Um, when a scent isn't very sweet, like sweet citrus, that tends to be bright. So dark is everything opposite of that, earthy, smoky, uh, leathery even. So. Yeah, this, this smells great off the tub. We'll see how some of those notes might present themselves once lathered up. Now, and obviously we're gonna use the aftershave and the fragrance as well. So kind of get the full on experience, but uh, let's see what else we're gonna use for today's shave. First up for the razor, we are doing another shave with the winning razor. And another sh thank you and shout out to Brian over at the Wet Shave Experience for loaning me this guy. I really liked, I've been liking how this one has performed. Uh, it's got a great weight to it. It's got that magnet at the bottom uh, and kind of the smoothness and efficiency. Mm, it's a great balance for what I like in a razor. Uh, it has a Estra SP blade. Uh, might, be the last, might be the last use on this Astra. I think I got about five shaves 
uh, under it. And that's when I, you know, it's about time to move it on. So that's what we got as far as the razor. And for my brush, it's a new one from Trotter Handcrafts. You might have seen a quick short video I did on it. Uh, there's the logo from Trotter. Not all the brushes have logos. Sometimes I think certain pores. Um, when I've spoken to Paul, he said it's just too good to cover up. So he had like my first brush, for example, um, wonderful purple black with a hint of red. Uh, it's coinless. So sometimes it works. This one is called Satin Burnt Butterscotch. And you might have seen this brush around. He's done this color uh, a number of times given how popular it is. This one has a matte finish, so it does not have a high gloss finish. Um, that kind of makes it stand out. It's also, it's a standard shape. However, it's a little shorter. I think it's like two or three millimeters shorter. I, I don't know exactly, but given that I'm a face lather and that's what we'll be doing today, no problem. It's not super, it's not super short stubby. Um, I, I think it's still very comfortable in hand. And oh, the other thing was for the knot, uh, first time around when I ordered from Trotter, he was out of stock as far as his uh, in-house T1 Manchurian Badger Knot. Those were in stock uh, when I ordered this one. So we have, we have it here. It is very soft. Uh, it's been soaking here. Let me see if I can show you. There is some gel to it, just the how the hair is clumped together. You can really see that way. It's not super dense. I, I would say it's a it's a good density, but it's not a, um, not super high density like the Maggard's knots um, or some other you know kind of similar knots in that space. And I'm okay with that. Um, sometimes the the higher density makes it makes it a little trickier to lather, depending where you set it and, and whatnot. But Given um, softness and whatnot, this actually splays very easily. Uh, it probably splays more than uh, the typical badger brushes I use. So in a little bit when you see me lather, you can notice how much, because I, I do, you know, I, I do smoosh in quite a bit uh, while agitating the lather, you'll see that. Um, overall, I really like the knot. Again, a nice, uh, nice softness, but still enough backbone for a face lather. So, yep, we're gonna go with this brush today. For today's shave, we'll be taking down four days worth of beard growth. And I think about four days for me is pretty noticeable. I mean, it probably helps that I have dark black hair. But there you go, that's a little more stubble than normal. And before we move further on to the shave, don't forget to hit that like button and please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already so that you don't miss out on any new videos. All right, so while I'm lathering up, let's go over the official scent notes of Black River. So the notes we have are oak moss, lavender, rose, jasmine, patchouli, leather, vetiver, dirt, and smoke. And again, this is one where the product description calls Black River a leathery, smoky fougere. Fougere is a tricky one in that, at least for me, uh, I'm kind of looking for, it makes me look for a green herbaceous note, something that's spring-like, but um, given that this is kind of a variation, it's a, it's a dark fougere, it's a smoky fougere, um, and just given creative license, you know, uh, the scent can go a different direction. So I would not call this green by any means, but I do think, like, like technically, <laughs> as far as like perfume, you know, um, official perfume classification goes, I think the fact that it uses oak moss and lavender um, alone, you know, kind of that that already puts it in the fougere category. But like I said, um, the floral component is quite strong, and that's always been part of the scenting for Dr. John's. And Dr. John's is run by a wonderful couple, uh, Kim and John Eplin. John does the, the, the perfuming, although I'm sure you know Kim's giving feedback. I know I've had the pleasure of uh, giving feedback on scents in the past. And flowers, floral notes have always been, I think, at the heart of what, uh, or of how John likes to create a scent. And that is done really well because uh, 
All the scents in the past haven't always worked for me. I mean, florals really encompasses a large, a large variety uh, of possible scents. And in general, for your average guy, I think we tend to shy away from florals. I've always liked lavender and neroli just because those are really clean florals. But I know in the past year, I've really come around to rose in certain combinations. Uh, ja jasmine's always been, because I love like jasmine tea. Um, I know jasmine is a tricky note to work with, but here um, it's, it's, it's present. It gives a little bit of the floral and the earthy component. So I think that's perfect um, to, to include in, in, uh, in the makeup of Black River. And you know what else? Vetiver. Vetiver is one where I simply love vetiver, like in the dark sense that can come from it. I'm thinking like on, on the extreme end of the spectrum, if you like dark vetiver scents, you gotta check out Katie's Bubbles 322 and uh, a smoky, I forget if it's vetiver, but it's, it's smoky at least, is uh, Declaration Grooming's Dark Fall. That's kind of what, what, where my mind goes when we're talking about dark scents. This one is dark, but not, not all the way on the far end of the spectrum. I think on account of those floral notes, it, keep, it, it adds a little bit of brightness. It adds a little bit of powdery, like powdery cleanness. Powdery in like a kind of a talc kind of way. So that's, that's kind of like my initial impressions of the scent. I like what I'm getting. And just a little bit of update since it's been about, I think it's been about two weeks since my last video. So I did also just want to kind of play some catch up with you guys. And I did mention I have a backlog of products to use. Uh, when I first got back from California, I knew I wanted to sh start shooting as soon as possible. However, I kind of lost my voice. And that's cause uh, I caught a cold on the tail end of our trip. My family and I, we all took COVID tests to make sure it is indeed just a cold and thank goodness that was confirmed. But either way, uh, my voice was very gravelly. So I actually, this isn't my first shave since I've been back. I did record that and that'll come out later on, probably next week sometime. Um, I don't wanna give too much away, but it does, uh, it, it will cover House of Mammoth food out. So be on the lookout for that. What I have planned for that just required a little bit more editing and production and whatnot. Versus today, today's video is probably, you're gonna probably see much fewer cuts because I, I just need to get, <laughs> I need to get this information out there. Uh, in a little bit, I'll tell you about a giveaway over on my Instagram channel that is related to this set and in general uh, is brought to you by the great people at Dr. John's. So make sure you keep on watching. I'll give you the details on uh, what we're giving away and how to enter that Instagram giveaway. All right, so we are lathered up and let's go in with the first pass with the America Razor. Also, as I mentioned before, I did get a chance to meet up with my co-host on Ladder Talk podcast, Gerard. And Gerard just, besides the shaving stuff, we're kind of on the same wavelength as far as how we travel. We really like to enjoy like a, you know, local foods and specialties. And big shout out to Gerard who just had some great recommendations and pointers uh, as far as where to eat, what to eat, where to go while we're out in California. We were able to enjoy some lovely fried chicken from Knott's Berry Farm. That actually was really good, really homey tasting. Really good, uh, really good bang for your buck too. And you know, I don't think we talk too much about shaving stuff, like a little bit, of course, but it's, it's always just nice to catch up in person. 
And while I didn't have a whole lot of time to, to meet up with folks, I'm glad uh, our schedule, schedules lined up and we were able to get together. And we were at Disney for a total of four days, um, two days for each park, for those of you familiar. Um, I know one is like the main Disneyland and then there's Disney California Adventure. That's the way it's split up uh, into two parks. And I know some folks were like, oh, what, what are you looking forward to? Or what was your favorite ride? They were all, like, I got to ride more things. Um, I got to go on more rides than I thought I would. Uh, given I, that I didn't know whether my kids would like thrilling rides or roller coasters and stuff like that. Turns out my uh, my daughter, who's the younger of my two kids actually, is more the thrill seeker. So her favorite was Big Thunder Mountain and we got to ride that twice. And I would say that's, that's a fantastic ride. Uh, amongst favorites, Star Wars Rise of the Resistance. I was, people said like, it's a long wait. But if you, if you have, there's like lightning lane and ways to kind of um, speed up the weight, uh, it's totally worth going. And I have to totally agree, it's a totally immersive ride. I don't give any spoilers away, but uh, it's just cool to see the progression of where kind of these attractions have come along that make you, that really make you feel like you're thrown into the movie and there's some, uh, some actual thrills and stuff on the rides itself too. So that, that was one of my favorites. And just as far as pure, just like roller coaster goodness, I really like the Incredicoaster, which features Incredibles, uh, the superhero family, uh, great Pixar film, in case you're not familiar with that one. Um, those two really stand out, but uh, even just walking around, uh, there's an area called Avengers Campus, you know, that has the Marvel stuff. Man, that's just being a comic book geek and a big fan of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. That was really fun just to walk around and interact in. Uh, for my son, who's the older of the two, his was his favorite was also Star Wars: Rise of the Resistance. Although I think a close second was Web Shooters, a, a uh, I think that's also a relatively new ride, Spider-Man themed, where uh, a couple of the rides, the newer rides now are, are kind of like a part video game, part ride, and this was cool in that you don't have any actual like gun or device on the ride itself, but uh, the you know the ride itself can detect when you do the Spider-Man motion and as you aim up, down, left, right, whatever, it, it's pretty accurate as far as uh, defeating the enemies go. And for the record, Spider-Man is probably my favorite superhero overall. So that was quite enjoyable as well for me. But yeah, that's kind of, I, I want to make sure, sometimes I gloss over these like non-shaving related things, but I did want to share a little bit about, about the recent trip. Again, it was really good. Really, really full days, a lot of walking, I, obviously waiting in line is kind of part of the experience, but you know what? I was super impressed with my kids. Um, really little to no complaining uh, on either front. Actually, they never complain about walking. It's just like, I think we took enough breaks, had enough snacks, we're eating <laughs> eating all the time. Um, so, you know, people, uh, all of us were quite happy. And uh, yeah, again, fantastic time with the family. As far as how this razor is doing, the America, one thing in my head is I keep kind of internally comparing it to uh, when I had borrowed, also from Brian, the uh, the winning razor. And I, qu I far prefer the shave I'm getting from the America. That's kind of too bad because the, the price point on the winning, which I think is like around $50 USD or so, uh, is a really good price point. This one might be close to, I wanna say it's close to double that. But despite that fact, I will still say, still worth it, given, you know, for a stainless steel razor, for at around a hundred, for a solid stainless steel, stainless steel razor that shaves well, at least according to my preferences, I think uh, it's, still, it's still a good deal, so.
yeah, taking down four days of growth with really little, little to no problem. You know, I was debating whether to do another, another pass, a third pass, but after feeling around and kind of rinsing up, I'm good. We're gonna stick with two passes for today. Probably for the best, we'll leave. Even if it's not like a BBS super duper close shave, it's definitely cleaned up. And given that I need to kind of crank out some more videos this week, it's probably better that I don't, I don't go BBS. But we got more things to talk about. Let's break out the aftershave. Here we go. I got this, again, this uh, aftershave formula does contain alcohol. Which I would say the more majority of you out there, if using a splash, prefer alcohol. Whether it's out of tradition, face feel, some people like the burn. I don't care about the burn, but I think in general, and I think I, I believe I've heard this too from, from some artisans, alcohol carries the scent better. And that really is a big factor, um, aside from offering some post-shave feeling. There's also menthol in here, which I'm okay with a little menthol. I can, I can get the scent fine. It's not to a degree, the, men, the menthol is not to a degree where it is interfering with the scent. And it's a nice face feel. You can feel some skin food ingredients in there. Let's apply the, uh, the eau de toilette, the fragrance as well, while we're here. That's, it's a new component <laughs> to the shave in there. Nice bottle, clean presentation. Show you all the angles. Here's an atomizer. I'll give, let's see. It'll probably, being a new sprayer, I got pumps on the air out. So there's the atomizer. Let me show you one more time. Hopefully that caught, got caught on camera. And put, let's put two sprays on. Three? Three sprays on. Smells good. Yeah, so maybe, maybe as this is, <laughs> as this is kind of wafting around me, it's a good time to do a recap. So let me grab the label here, Black River, fantastic new scent from Dr. Johns. This is a, just a slight preview. This is out next week on March 15th, but it is available for pre-order. The scent is fantastic. I get it. a dark floral fougere. Uh, that's, that's what's described as. That's what I'm getting. Um, not overly green, but uh, I don't, it's, it's a masculine fragrance. If you're looking for a masculine floral, uh, I think this is a great contender. Uh, if you kind of, uh, whether you already like that category or you kind of want to branch out into it, uh, a masculine floral, I think this does a really good job. That fougere component, that lavender oak moss, I think makes it um, more accessible. And in summary, Black River gets a big thumbs up in my book. You know, I did mention that there is a giveaway, so let me share with you those details right now. So I have an Instagram page. I actually was uh, establishing myself as Lather Hog on Instagram before uh, the YouTube channel. And we are nearing 3,000 subscribers, which kind of boggles my mind, but um, uh, have the opportunity right now to help Dr. John's celebrate a milestone of their own. So as I mentioned, John Eplin does the fragrancing and he has finally started, or him and Kim have started uh, their own perfume line, perfume brand. Uh, that's you know, parallel or in addition to Dr. John's and it's called Flower City Fragrance. So this giveaway that's happening right now, um, at the time of recording, uh, is to help celebrate the launch of that website. They have an Instagram page as well. So uh, I'll have the link to my actual giveaway post, uh, but it's basically, it's on Instagram, it's on YouTube. And what you need to do is, you know, find the post, follow me on Instagram, follow Dr. John's Shaving Soap Company on Instagram, fo follow Flower City Fragrance on Instagram, like the post, and lastly, comment, I'm in. And this giveaway, it seems like a lot of steps, 
but it's not for the chance to win two prizes. Uh, one is a set of, not this one, this one's mine. <laughs> you, get the, you get a brand new trifecta set of Black River. So that's the shave soap, uh, the aftershave splash, and the fragrance, the eau de toilette. The second prize is from Flower City Fragrance, and that is a bottle of bourbon vanilla, a wonderful smoky, woody vanilla scent. Um, it's described on the website as sitting down in front of the fireplace with your favorite bourbon. So if you have an address in the United States or Canada, head on over to Instagram and enter that giveaway. And good luck to everyone entering. May the odds ever be in your favor. Well, that's gonna do it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for taking some time out of your busy day joining me for the shave. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll catch you next time. Take care. Today's video was made possible in part by our wonderful patrons. For more information about our Patreon, check out patreon.com slash lathertalk. You can also check out our Etsy store and pick up a comfy lathertalk t-shirt or coffee mug. Find all the links down below.